Are you guys? Yeah. So this is the second uh, push day of the week. So the first day is usually usually focused on just purely doing, um, not purely doing chest, but doing majority of chest movements, like uh, near twenty sets of chest movements, and then like um, some weak point shoulder stuff, like here and there. I'll probably do like two two things of shoulders and like one thing a rear delt on that fir first push day. But um, on the second push day, it's going to be majority shoulders. So today I really want to like get that good shoulder pump, get, get like a really good uh, shoulder workout. <clears throat> oh, another thing is, is that, um, so the days have been, so that push day you guys saw, uh, last video's push day, I was looking like, I was looking a lot better than normal. And just lately I've been trying to work out a lot earlier um just because it's been helping my sleep schedule i've been able to get to bed at an earlier time yeah the only problem with working out earlier is i can't eat like two three four meals before my workout so i'll notice like i'll look significantly better working out later in the day and just like my pumps are better and overall it's better just the only thing is is that i will go to bed at a god awful hour yeah so if you if you guys are struggling even to get like really crazy pumps and i know a lot of people like to work out in the morning before they even eat and if you're trying to gain size i highly i highly advise you guys to you know get in a lot of food before you go work out because then you can really feel like those pumps pre-workout at night is a bad idea but ooh, it's so much better than during the day being up being when it's when it's literally fucking oh my god Playing a video, I'm playing fucking video games. That's really all I do. Um, and then you're like, it feels like eight o'clock p.m., but you realize that you worked out at eight o'clock, and then you think about it, and you're a little like, fuck, should I check the time? Then you check the time, and it's like, oh my god, it's three fucking a.m. Feels like eight o'clock at night, and then you realize, and then you realize, oh my gosh, why are all my friends also awake right now, like playing video games with me? Then it turns to 5 a.m. and you're like, oh my gosh, everybody probably has this fucking problem where they're up to the crack of ass or I just have psycho friends. Let me know in the comments if you can't sleep. You guys, if you're ever not ready to get into the gym, don't just, don't just fucking get up and walk into the gym like, oh, like, oh, not chill out, like, oh, I'm gonna have a shit workout, oh, I might be busy, all this, oh, uh, thinking about all these things. Literally, just fucking...
All right, good morning, you guys. I wanted to show you guys something real quick. I get a lot more productive lately. It's really uh, what I'm trying to get to. But yeah, I used to have like all my editing set up in the kitchen and it was just kind of a mess, but um, my room's kind of a mess right now actually. But yeah, I just got this new desk and like whole totally new setup. So I'm hoping that this is gonna help me be like a lot more productive just because um, it's honestly inviting. I I'll show you guys right now, but here. I got a little bit of food there, but um, yeah, this is kind of the setup. It's really simple, but um, honestly, it's just like a room dedicated to, I guess, gaming and editing only. So yeah, I'm hoping that that'll be um, a lot better just for my overall productivity. But yeah, I also got a scale right here. And um, yeah, I'm hoping to eventually get to a point where I'm waking up at like 170 like four, like around there. Cause I don't know, I'm, I'm way too lean right now. The bulk, the bulk is going really well. So I was looking really good for probably like a week and I gained, I gained weight super, super fast. And I think I gained weight a little bit too fast. And then just immediately after that, my body just, it, it fucking, um, my appetite literally went to the ground. I think I was going to bed at like around 180 which was on track to like where my goals are. Then I think I'd wake up around like 170, like low 170s. But then right after that, I just ate a bunch of food like one final day. And the next day I was just like, stomach was all fucked up. This was a couple of days ago actually. And I was just like, you know, I shit like fucking 10 times that day. Like it was bad. So I'm kind of working back, working my way back up. But, but now I'm, I'm trying not to like eat like as insane calories like just in one day i'm i'm actually gonna like have like a proper amount of calories i should eat or like not like overly stuffing myself with like shit junk food and now i'm you know eating a little bit healthier but you know sometimes it's good to get like a little kickstart for now we're gonna go check out gabby in the room and the boy so gabby's in bed are you gonna work out today or no yeah Gabby's been uh, getting back into workout, working out slowly after having surgery, but you worked out yesterday pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. Those shoes were everywhere. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And then we gotta wake up this boy. Wake up this boy. Give me. Yeah, so. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> also, what I got downstairs that I kind of had ready for me last night. I had a huge shake last night and I, I want to start taking a lot or ugh, I want to start drinking a lot more shakes again just because you can pack them like with a lot of like good healthy stuff, fats, fruits, vegetables, you know, shit that you don't necessarily like want to eat or be eating. So what I should have done is throw in spinach in here, but yeah, pretty much strawberry, protein powder, various assortment of berries, peanut butter. Uh, two ice cream bars last night because I was just dating. I was just fucking messing around and What else is in here? Uh, yeah, it's just around that pretty simple shake, but yeah, probably add I if you want to do like this the best way I would probably add like spinach or you know something like that, but yeah Cheers. And as far as breakfast goes What I eat is very fucking simple. I I keep this rice cooker going like 24 7 so we're gonna be making quite a bit of rice probably for the rest of the day uh, just so I can having a rice cooker is so good like these these packets are great for like late night getting some getting some rice packets like these so that that's like super good for late night I'll just pop one of those in the microwave uh, you know before bed and eat it just for like an extra 400 calories but uh, if you want to do things like super cost effective and you know just buy go to Costco buy this huge bag of rice that's no longer huge anymore Cause you're getting so fucking jacked getting crazy pumps at the gym fill this up fill it with water you guys need a rice cooker because I, I can just walk downstairs grab a scoop of rice drizzle some honey on it and eat it and boom i'm good like 30 minutes before the gym
so we're heading to the gym right now and uh, Young LA just came out with these sweet like nice soft cloud foam hoodies and I'm gonna give one to Carlo because these are the types of hoodies that I feel like he likes so now we're going to lifetime yeah there's beta alanine I'm having Carlo try the secret stuff but um thank you thank you sebum yeah shout out sebum but each scoop has around 300 milligrams of caffeine not each scoop Two scoops has around 300 milligrams of caffeine. So we're gonna take four. Carlos, uh, around a 400 milligrams of caffeine average type guy, okay, maybe a little no, bit more. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah, sure. Right. I think Carlos gonna take two heaping scoops. That'll get him around two heapers. Let's go to the locker room. All right. Um, this song's sick. Hold up. supported uh, dumbbell row and what else did we do curls we did a little bit of like a rear delt slash trap like dumbbell fly yeah, movement like rear forehead, fly forehead workout. yeah forehead fly movement and now we're in the posing room we go shit. but we're gonna hit the locker room and then uh hit the song probably yeah take it Thank you. 